Hi everyone, it's Lisa and welcome to A Potter's Home. Today I have a haul for you. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. I actually stopped by the Dollar Tree and I found a couple of things at the Dollar Tree. Then I stopped at Dollar General. There's a project that I'm putting together and I was looking for a specific something and I'll show you that in a minute what I'm making and I'll make a separate video of the DIY that I'm creating. So let me go on ahead. This is gonna be not very long. I don't have a whole lot of things but I have some cute things I wanted to show you just in case you're interested and decide to go to the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. But it's been quite a while. It's been a couple of months I haven't been there so actually or maybe a month or so a little over that but actually it's been a good thing so let me go on ahead and get on with this dollar tree haul okay let me start and i'm gonna show you i do collect these pens i buy them every year and i do use them all the time so i found this blue one with the pretty gem just so pretty. I like to put these in my Bible. And sometimes if somebody asks me for a pen, I might just go on ahead and give one away. And then I found this lilac one that's so pretty. These are just so pretty. I really like those. Those are really beautiful. And they're just very, you know, very feminine to use when you're writing in your journal. Just kind of cheers things up with extra steps. So I really like those. I picked up two of those. And then I am going to be working on my garden journal. I'm getting that together. It's going to be a little different this year. And I'm excited a bit about getting my garden journal together. So I got these really pretty stickers. Aren't those beautiful? Look at the mailbox with the little bird. Just really beautiful. So I picked up these. It's, an 11, it's 11 pieces. I like the boots with all the garden tools inside. This is just so pretty. So this is going to be for my journal. So I was happy to find this. This one I don't have. I have some of the other ones, but this is the first time I saw this one. I thought it was very, very nice. These are great for any kind of DIY that you want to make. So this was Dollar Tree. And so were the pens. They were Dollar Tree. I don't know if I said Dollar General, but I have a couple of things from Dollar General. And then I found this at the Dollar Tree. And this I'm also going to be using this really pretty little like cottage teapot. Isn't that cute? And it has like the pretty lilac color on top with the little detail with the windows. I just thought this was adorable. This is cute just to decorate. Put in your garden, on your garden bed. Just something to decorate. You don't have to have a fairy garden. You could just make something really cute with it. And that's what I'm planning on doing with this. And I just think it's adorable. I didn't pick up a whole lot of these little figurines. I just picked up this one. And I thought it was really cute. And that was Dollar Tree. And I like the detailing on it. Look at the little steps and the rhododendrons, I think those are. Or chrysanthemums. But those are so cute. So that's for my project. And I'm pretty excited about that. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, we do, right? As women, we get excited about when we're homemaking, things that we find for very inexpensive. It just warms our heart as women. I just really enjoy it. I did pick up some journals. It's been quite a while since I picked up any journals. So I picked up this one here. It's just a simple, plain journal. And I just thought this was really nice. This was at the Dollar Tree also. I like to write. I like to sit outside and draw and just do different things. This one does have the dots inside. But I still just write in them draw pictures you know it's always good to find a journal just for yourself just a dollar 25 at the dollar tree you can pick up a journal write your thoughts down maybe there's a dream home you've always wanted and you just want to draw a picture of your dream home that would be pretty exciting right it's okay to hope it's okay to hope so you can draw a picture of your dream home. Maybe you want to decorate your kitchen or your living room a certain way. And you can go on ahead and draw a picture of that and how you would like things to be. This is a great way to do it and sit outside while you're doing that. Draw a picture of the ocean. Whatever it is that kind of calms you down and relaxes you when you take that time as a homemaker to just set time aside for yourself. So I like picking these up. So I picked up this one and I like that pretty color, that pretty green. It's like a teal color. It's very pretty. Then I found this one and I thought this was very, very nice. It says plan. I've seen them there before. It's just writing paper. So I just got this to write down my plan. Do enjoy these. This is just so pretty. And you know what I thought? This is very nice for Father's Day. If your husband works in an office 
or there's different plans or maybe he's keeping a budget and he wants to write it down this is just perfect for father's day and it says simple plan on it i think it's really nice so i pick one of those up and then this one says godliness guards the path of the blameless proverbs 13 6 and i thought this was absolutely beautiful look at the flowers and the trees does that not say cottage does that not say summer that is just so beautiful i thought it was so pretty so i picked this up let me take it out the plastic just want to see it it's a little overcast today so the video is a little dark that's why but i'm sure you can see very well so there we go isn't that beautiful i like the foil lettering the font on there so pretty these are so beautiful i really like these so i'm glad that i picked this up and look at the inside it's got flowers and it's pink my favorite color so i can make a grocery list whatever i want to make on this i thought this was really nice so i picked that up so yes like i said it's been a while since i've had any journals since i've gone to the dollar tree so i've picked anything up so Today, we just happened to be over in that area, and I went inside and said, I'm going to pick up a couple of things, and that's what I did. Now, I got one more thing at the Dollar Tree, and then the rest is going to be Dollar General, and it's this. Now, I have a few of these already. I use them under my sink to put my detergents and everything, and they're so easy because they just roll, and you can just spin them, and these are really great for your cabinets that you're trying to organize, but this is for a DIY that I'm actually going to be working on, and then I'll show you once I work on the DIY, I'll make a video so you can see what I made. So this is for a DIY. So I got that as a terracotta and they had like a green, but I wanted the terracotta color. A fountain for my DIY. Isn't that pretty? It has a little cardinal. And we do have cardinals here. And I actually hear the cardinal every day chirping a song. So this is so cute. I just really like that well. I like the water pump. It's just really pretty. So I picked that up. Excuse my nails. I know I got to redo my nails. So they don't look great, but, you know, it's life. <laughs> and then I got these pretty napkins at the Dollar General from True Living. I like the lemons. I just like having pretty napkins for my family. When I, you know, when we're having a barbecue outside of cookout and with lemonade, this is such a pretty napkin to have in the summer for when you're having a picnic. And that was only $1. I thought that was just really, really pretty. And then I found these really pretty plates. Look at those beautiful plates. And this was also $1 at 8 count. And these are just pretty. I like having a pretty paper plate to have a piece of banana bread or whatever it is. Some cookies, some wafers, whatever it is when you're having tea. These are so pretty. You can find these for $1. And like I said, for an afternoon tea, you have some warm tea, maybe some raspberry tea or peach tea. Or maybe you're a coffee drinker and just have an afternoon time. If it's 20 minutes that you sit alone with a good book and tea and a pretty plate, it's just really, really nice. And I think part of being a homemaker is doing something nice, even if you take out a few minutes a day for yourself to have that quiet time alone with God, have that quiet time and find something pretty that you like. Even like one of the journals that I showed you, like one of these journals, having one of these journals and a pretty plate with some nice cookies or a piece of toast and some tea. It's just a beautiful afternoon. And it's pampering yourself in such a simple way. You know, we don't have to go go out and go to the salon and have our nails done every weekend and, you know, have mud put on our faces to relax. It's just doing something as simple as making yourself a cup of tea and having sit down a long time. I picked these up. These are so pretty. Look at the pretty white flower. Just really beautiful. So I also picked these up like for a lunch, you know, have a little sandwich with some chips. Try to get out there and find yourself a nice journal, something that's just yours. It doesn't have anything deep. It doesn't have to be anything deep that you write in it, but drawing a picture or one of your goals that you have that you want to write down, something that you're praying to God for, something that you want to see happen in your family. Maybe you want to draw a really nice family tree in that book and put all the names of your family, your experiences, you know, the good things that have happened in your life. So God bless you all. I will talk to everyone in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. God bless.